What's up? It's your boy, Lil Bibby, and you in Chicago, chilling in my old neighborhood, man. 77 and Phillips. All of my homies, all of the older guys used to come hang out right here. My, my apartment was right there, the first floor. I did some of everything on this, this block right here. We probably had like 100 fist fights, <laughs> uh, paintball guns, everything, man. This is the stoop, man. Famous stoop where I used to hang out when I was from like five to thirteen. I don't want to, I don't want to stun on the camera, but I, I knocked my brothers out. I used to whoop them a lot <laughs> on this stoop. <laughs> Between him, and we got in a lot of fights. Me and my brothers. I got two brothers, so you know, you know how that go. Right now. We at the Rebecca Crown Youth Center. It's like a little after school joint. Me and my homies used to come through, play basketball, get on the computers and stuff like that. So this kept us out of a lot of trouble back in the day, man, because we, if it weren't for this place, we would just be running around the streets, getting into like, trouble, like real trouble. So one of the most memorable things I remember about this place is the basketball tournaments, man. We used to. Had like five different teams, red, blue, black, yellow, maroon. We had like five different teams, man. All of the homies like split up and like we had to choose. Well, we didn't choose, but they chose the team randomly. So we used to just be going at it up here, man. A couple of my homeboys was like really good. Like a lot of them probably should be in the NBA right now. You know, they was distracted, man. So. Used to go down up here, man, I'm telling you. Right now, we on a block called 78th and Exus. So this is the block where we did a lot of stuff. Like when we was getting older, we started moving to this block. We did like a lot of extreme stuff. This is like teenage years. So this block shaped everything like shaped all the music. Me as a person, I seen homeboys get killed on this block, drug raids. I remember it was a time where we was like at war, heavy, like a heavy, heavy war. Like most of my homeboys didn't come outside during this war. It was like me and like two of my homies outside because I was always out, I, want, I needed the money, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I would just come out and it's two gangways. Like this is my favorite block because it's all type of gangways. You know, you can just, somebody start shooting at you or the police come and just run through that, you know what I'm saying? And then my house was right there, so I'll run through that and dip through the back of my house. they never know. Like when we was at war, it was me and one of my homies. I used to be right there with all my weed and he used to be like in a cut right here with the guns and stuff on him, you know what I'm saying? Just cause people used to come through shooting at us every day. And this block, uh, words can't even explain, man. Can't even explain. I think Chicago is one of the realest places, like, I think it kind of forces everybody to grow up at a young age, like, I'm not gonna lie, when I was 12 years old, it was like I was grown. It's like a dark cloud over the city, man. It's a dark cloud over the city, man. When I started rapping, just to get that rise from people, that felt good. I didn't want to stop.